Yeah, I'm doing a little electronic fix here. Hopefully, uh, this is a like a battery pack that you can use for your like your laptop or your cell phone and a lot of different things. You can set it from 19 volts all the way down. Um, I think it's supposed to have about 21 volts of battery power inside here because I was checking these pairs. They're set up in series. It looks like. Um, there is a little over 14 volts here and I checked this one single battery it says zero and between these two batteries it was like um, 0.13 like a like a little over a tenth of a volt so what I did was I uh, here's my kitty ball right here right <laughs> so what I did was I took my just my uh, cheapo uh, ever ready battery charger and uh, you can see I have it hooked up there the red lights on uh, just with some jumper cables onto the 9 volt and uh, put a neodymium magnet right here to hold that in place and then I clip the other one with just a you know a little uh, freaking alligator clip and uh, I got my gauge here so it's uh it's pulling up a little bit at a time the voltage see that freaking too reflective or what 2.9 2.8 volts 2.8 I'll tell you what batteries and the shitty methods by which they charge up it's, uh, some of the biggest rackets going so I gotta keep this on here till that shows about seven volts or maybe at least six I think the electronic charger that's in this thing it will not if the batteries are that damn low if this thing was sitting a while it won't boost them up so I'm like kind of forcing a charge in there and once it gets up to say five volts I think it's I think the electronic charger will easily do it then it probably just has to show a couple volts but you know it's a big freaking racket with this bullshit I can tell you right now so We'll see how this works out. I was going to use my Bedini Renaissance charger to boost this. I said, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> uh, if something freaking goes wrong, I don't want to screw that thing up. And uh, this is the Bedini uh, Renaissance uh, all-purpose charger, 1.2 to 24 volts. Right now, I'm charging uh, four AA batteries with it. Uh, it's doing a really good job because uh, my camera just crapped out. I was using it quite a bit today. I was filming uh, some of the body work I was doing on the El Camino. It just crapped out now. It actually did last quite a bit longer. And these were, I was using these uh, Duracell rechargeables. But you know what? I feel good about using this thing to recharge these. I bet you I get at least 500 recharges out of these before these crap out. And that's a lot of years of use. So, um, anyway, um, I'm going to experiment with some of this stuff. And, uh, you know, we're going to see how we can, uh, you know, keep and store energy on hand uh, and revitalize some of this crap without spending money. Uh, because I think a lot of, man, I tell you, every house ought to have this damn thing, that's for sure. Even though it's a few hundred bucks, it'll, it'll, it'll wind up saving you the money. You'll, you'll freaking get back that money in a few years anyway, easily. Okay, so we fixed it, okay? Meow? Eh, what? Let's see what we got here, man. So, uh, you can see the phone is not charging. And you turn this on. You got all four lights. Charge! So I got a super battery pack for my phone. It's working again. Hmm. Well, that was worth fixing. Okay, it's working. Uh, I had to make sure that connector was connected good. It senses, you can see the little LED light is on. That node, that tells you the battery's connected. So, anyway, that's cool. That's cool. Anyway, very good. Very good. Very good. So, it's working. It's got the charge light on it. Ah. I figured that big battery <clears throat> that big battery pack here should probably charge up this cell phone multiple times so you know if I have this with me man I could <laughs> I could freaking uh, never run out of cell phone battery especially since I got two other batteries for the phone
And the other thing is, like the phone was like almost fully charged anyway. So as soon as it fully charged, it knows to shut off. It knows to shut off. Like you'll just this will go to the green light up here, then this shuts off. So I forgot about how useful this device was. So that little uh, force of uh, manually charging that battery brought it back up to speed. And what happened was um, the electronic charger in here just couldn't do it so just a little forcing it up to uh, give it a little couple volts that's what did it so that's a neat little tip anyway <laughs> what and yes it does have the adapters and the 19 volts to maintain the laptop so you can see the battery light it shows it's connected so this bad boy is working again man oh I am so happy so it does anything so the laptop's working. You see it's charging up. It's got the uh, uh, red light, whatever, pinkish light, whatever you call it. That's uh, connected. It's connected to this. You can see the, that's the, when it comes on, it tells you how much of a battery charge is in there. All four lights on the top means it's got a full battery charge. That's what it was showing. Then after it senses something being connected, uh, it goes into battery mode and then it shows that so I could set it on 9 volts 19 volts for the laptop and um, It's working fine. It's, it'll charge a laptop up. That's really what it's really designed to do But it does cell phones USB and I think I can adapt uh, one of my cameras to it It's got a whole pile of adapters um, so I could run another camera uh, portable camera and plug this into it it's not a real high resolution camera but it's still it's it's a good one it's an old Kodak uh, that's the one that eats the batteries like crazy <laughs> I bet you if I hook it with that thing it's not gonna have a problem because it's, it's got you know six of those giant ass batteries in there so man that worked out pretty freaking good man wow glad I freaking t took the time to try to fix that so there we go there we go hmm so I guess if you got a problem with some kind of battery not working and it's got like the electronic charge thing in there, if you could somehow get in there with a couple probes to just manually boost that battery up and then the electronic charging takes over and then you're fine. It's got to have at least a volt or if, I think it's like maybe 0.8 volts or some kind of a, enough electricity that the electronic charger will sense it. So, boy, I'm happy with that because I like that because. Uh, I don't keep any extra laptop batteries around, and uh, this thing's got adapters for even my little laptops that are the 10-hour batteries and stuff. I got a, you know an IBM and ASUS and uh, what the hell else is out there? Some other stuff. <laughs> uh, a Toshiba, a Toshiba, yeah, uh, the little ones, and um, this is very good. This is great. I'm happy this thing's working again because that that used. This was so freaking handy. I, I couldn't say enough about this product because it does any voltage from 5 to 19. It's got the USB and it's got a million and one, well not a million and one, it's got a whole slew of adapters and I was so pissed off I couldn't get that, the batteries were crapped out and that's really what it was. Was It just had to give a couple of them a, a little manual boost so once they got that, the electronic sensor went, the charger in there went and did it. It's this thing was handy as shit. I'll tell you the truth, man. I, I guess I could replace those batteries if I just solder in new ones whenever they break. 